Have you ever been asked to do something that scared you to death? Let me ask you that again. Have you ever been asked to do something that really scared you? I mean, really scared you. Well, that's what happened to me. And I want to share that experience with you. So follow along as I share my life story about when I was so afraid I didn't know what to do. So I just went ahead and did it anyway. Join me as I share stories of my life as a kid, bringing junk home and turning it into something useful. Fact is, I'm still doing this today at age 69. I was probably about 13, 14 years old when this happened. Let me share that with you. It was late in the afternoon and my mom wanted to go visit somebody. So she loaded us kids in the car and we all left the house excited. It was a normal day, just like any other summer day. And we left, we were gone several hours because it was dark when we got home. I don't know who went up to the house or who was there first, but whoever it was noticed that the door was open about eight inches. It was a sliding door that faced the south. And yes, it was open a few inches. Well, we walked up. As I walked up to the door, I could tell that something was wrong. My mom saw the door was open, and I looked at her, and I could tell she was afraid. I could also tell that my brothers and sisters was afraid. My Brothers were all younger than me, and I had one sister that was older. I knew something had to be done because we weren't going in the house. Fear had overcome everyone, including me. So I looked at my mom and I said, Mom, I'll go in. And I did. I was scared. I mean, really scared. I got some kind of defense weapon. I don't know what it was, probably a tree limb or something. I just grabbed what I could find. And I opened a door and I made my way to the light switch. And I turned it on in the first room. There was no one there that I could see. So I started going through the house, room by room, turning on lights. And each room I went into, from that first room it was into the new kitchen that we had added on. And I turned the light on there. And I didn't see anyone. I looked in all the corners, any place, any closet that I could see, I looked in. And I didn't see anyone in that new kitchen at all. So I made my way to the living room. I turned the light on. There again, I searched every place that I could find. Made my way to an old bedroom that was downstairs, closets, under the beds every place I could find, the bathroom. I didn't find anyone downstairs. By then, the rest of the family had come in, but I hadn't went upstairs yet. Oh, I hated the idea of going upstairs. There's a lot of places someone could hide, but I did. I went upstairs. 
And as I approached the upstairs hallway, and I came to that first bedroom, I turned the lights on there. I looked in every closet and under every bed, and I didn't find anyone. And I went into the next bedroom, and the same thing, and the following bedroom, and the same thing. And I went and I looked in my two brothers' bedroom, and I didn't find anything there. In their bedroom, they had an access panel that led to an attic. I thought if someone was in the house, it's the only place left I didn't check. So I opened the door and I shined a light in. And to my relief, there was no one in the attic. That's the night that I was asked to do something that I was deathly afraid of. I don't know what truly motivated me to look through the house for whatever it was we thought might be in there, an intruder, someone hiding in the dark shadows. I don't know. But what I do know, I was afraid. And so was the rest of my brothers and sisters and my mom. I learned a lesson that day, a lesson that I carried with me the rest of my life until even today. Because over the years after that, I was asked on many occasions to do things that scared me. And I was able to overcome, for the most part, those fears. Overcoming your fears at a young age will build a foundation that you can build on. That foundation that was created for me that night as a young boy is one that I stand on today. Now I share this with you because I know that we all face fears. We all face challenges. But it's how we react and how we accept these challenges will help determine and create who we really are. So today, I challenge you to Meet your fears head on. Do what you need to do to overcome them. Well, Lord only knows how many I had to face. Was called into public speaking. Wow. <laughs> I was scared to death. And truth be known, I probably still am, but I do it. Accept the challenges of your fears. Overcome them. Put one foot in front of the other. And I can almost guarantee that you'll become a better person because of it. Tell me and share with me some of the fears that you have come up against and how you overcame those fears. Share in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. If you find my videos and this story encouraging and challenging and if you like it, please subscribe. Can it be fixed? Sure it can. Can you fix it? You're darn right you can sharing my life with you until the next time.